Hey, this is Joshua from Tiny House Basics. Uh, we're here on another tiny house tour. This one looks a little bit different than, than some of the other ones you see on our channel. Uh, this is a tiny house shell. This is our four dice model, which is a 24 foot lower deck, eight foot upper deck on the gooseneck hitch. So this whole house is 32 feet long, 10 feet wide. And so we built the full entire exterior structure, did all the windows, everything on the outside is done. And then we're gonna be shipping it off to Portland and the customer is gonna take over the build and finish it out themselves. They are also gonna do the RV certification uh, for this tiny house. So this will be a certified RV when it's all done. On our end, we took care of all the um, requirements for RV certification on the shell. And then we're just gonna pass it off to the customer and then they're gonna take off, uh, take care of the rest of the build. And so let's go ahead and take a look around. All right, so starting with the upper deck, as you can see right here, the elevated portion for this master bedroom is 50 inches above the lower deck. So that's our standard default height for all gooseneck hitches. Uh, that will be so it can match up to any uh, particular tow truck, tow vehicle, and not mess with the bedsides. Um, this is a customizable height. So when you do uh, order a tiny house trailer from us, we can select a custom height for that upper deck. So if you're gonna be using something like a uh, flatbed pickup, uh, we can have a lower one, so since you don't have bedsides to deal with. So let's go up here and check out the master bedroom. All right, a little bit of a climb being 50 inches up. But right here, so uh, we have an egress window um, for lots of ventilation. This is where the master bed is gonna be. Um, that's also a good emergency escape as well. Um, and then we have an awesome uh, four by two skylight up in the middle of the loft. And so the customer is gonna have their master bed right here. They're gonna close up a wall right here. There's gonna be some storage. And then they're gonna have their staircase that's gonna go down right here. So this is a nice, view of the full entire tiny house so 24 feet on that lower deck 10 feet wide right there eight feet by 10 feet so the bedroom up here is a full 80 square feet let's go let's go hop down and take a look all right front door we got this kind of craftsman style front door that's a 36 inch wide uh, door that's what we always put on uh, standard on our shelves then right here we're going to have a door i mean there's Customer plans to do a wall right here to kind of close off this bathroom. So there's gonna be a toilet right here, tub and everything right there, washer dryer set up right there. And there's gonna be this wall right here. They're planning on having a upper loft right there. And then the rest of this space is gonna be open. So they're gonna have a kitchen sink and everything on this side, rest of the kitchen right there, living room at the back with this awesome garage door. So I'll show you how this functions. So we have a lock right here. It's a beautiful black door. So this really opens up the space quite a bit. So you could just imagine if you had an awesome parking spot with your uh, tiny house backed up to like an ocean or a beautiful view right here. So you just have a lot of extra ventilation. And then looking back into the house like this, and then if you want to close it up, And then close it up. So we have a little living room right here. And with the structure of the shell, you can really see how everything is built. Uh, we always recommend running uh, window headers across uh, the fenders. Now the fenders do have structural supports, but this is always really good building practice to treat it like a window opening. So just as you would run a header across a window right there, right there, and also your doors, you also wanna transfer the load across the fenders. Because the main objective of a fender is really just kind of protect the wheels, uh, water and debris coming up from the road. But for framing purposes, you should treat it like a window opening and run that header across it. So it transfers the load from the roof down to the deck. We also put in a more than sufficient amount of tie downs. So these are the Simpson HTT4 strong ties. Actually, these are HTT5, they're a little bit taller. HTT4 is about like that tall. So you just have more anchoring support. Um, and then we have the threaded rods that are welded to the trailer. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 10, 11, and 12. 
So we have a lot of anchors for this 32 foot uh, tiny house uh, shell. So all the framing is 16 inch on center. It's all two by four construction. You can do upgrades to uh, steel framing as well. So that's always an option. And a shell can be anything you want it to be from a bare minimum shell like this with upgraded windows, doors, like this garage door. And we can even do electrical plumbing all the way up to a turnkey build. So there's no benchmark that you have to decide that you want to have your shell built to. You can choose any level of completion that you like. And here is the exterior of the 32 foot long by 10 foot wide Fordyce tiny house shell. Um, this exterior siding is T111, which is our included uh, base model siding. Uh, we have a shed roof at a 112 pitch. It has a black matte standing seam roof, which is also included on all of our tiny house shells. Uh, we painted the exterior in Sherwin-Williams Black Magic. We did three coats to really give it a nice, deep, rich color. Uh, these two windows you see on the back are two by three single hung uh, windows in bronze finish. These are from Milgard. Um, and then going around to the back, you can see the garage door, which is 80 inches wide by 78 inches tall, full glass garage door, super cool feature to have in a tiny house. I would personally love this on my own tiny house. Uh, super awesome. So going around towards the front, we have uh, three 18 inch wide by four foot tall casement style windows in the kitchen. Uh, we have the 36 inch wide craftsman window with the sliding window above it, which is going into the loft. Going up towards the front, we have our eight foot long gooseneck uh, bedroom area. Above that, we have a five by three uh, window in the bedroom. And then we have the four by two skylight above that. Uh, the gooseneck area is a really cool area to kind of like close off once it's in its final parking spot to um, have like as a storage shed or just kind of a dry area to store things. Um, so this was just a little tour of our tiny house shells. Um, each of our builds are custom built for each client so they can look and feel and function any way um, that you need them to be. Um, you can go to our website at tinyhousebasics.com. We have our base model pricing shown for all of our sizes up to 40 feet. And feel free to send us an email at info at tinyhousebasics.com. And we look forward to help simplifying the process of going tiny. And thank you for watching our tour.